Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, has long been a subject of fascination for astronomers. This small red dwarf, discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Innes, is part of the Alpha Centauri system, which also includes Alpha Centauri A and B. Despite its proximity, just 4.24 light years away, it remains invisible to the naked eye due to its relatively low brightness. However, Proxima Centauri holds immense scientific value, especially as the host star of Proxima b, an exoplanet that orbits within the star's habitable zone. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are smaller, cooler, and much longer lived than stars like our Sun. Their low luminosity makes them challenging to observe, but it also means that their habitable zones are much closer to the star. For Proxima, this translates to an orbital distance of just 0.05 astronomical units, a mere fraction of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This close proximity exposes Proxima b to intense stellar activity, including frequent solar flares and high levels of radiation, making its environment starkly different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima b was a monumental achievement in exoplanet research. Using the radial velocity method, Astronomers detected subtle wobbles in Proxima Centauri's position caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These wobbles allowed scientists to estimate the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially confirmed the existence of Proxima b, marking a breakthrough in the search for potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. While ground-based observations have provided valuable insights into Proxima b, they come with significant limitations. Atmospheric distortion and light interference hinder the ability of Earth-based telescopes to capture detailed data about the planet's surface or atmosphere. Most of the information we have, such as its mass, distance from the star, and orbital characteristics, relies on indirect measurements. To uncover deeper truths about Proxima b's environment and its potential for life, more advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are indispensable. Proxima Centauri's role as a gateway to understanding exoplanetary systems cannot be overstated. As the closest star system to Earth, it offers a unique opportunity to study the conditions necessary for life. Proxima b, in particular, represents a tantalizing possibility. A rocky, Earth-sized planet with the potential to harbor water and maybe even life. However, the challenges posed by its harsh environment make it a complex puzzle for scientists to solve. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is not just another tool in the arsenal of astronomy. It is a revolution designed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. JWST was envisioned to address the limitations of its predecessor and push the boundaries of human knowledge. While Hubble has provided invaluable insights into the cosmos, including the age of the universe and the discovery of thousands of galaxies, its capabilities are constrained by its focus on visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, by contrast, is built to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust and uncover phenomena invisible to Hubble. One of the key design features of JWST is its primary mirror, which spans a staggering 6.5 meters in diameter, more than double the size of Hubble's mirror. This larger mirror enables JWST to collect far more light, making it capable of observing extremely faint and distant objects. Coated with a thin layer of gold to enhance its infrared reflectivity, the mirror is composed of 18 hexagonal segments that work together to create a highly sensitive observational platform. Another groundbreaking innovation is JWST's five-layer sunshield which keeps the telescope's instruments at a constant temperature of about minus 233 degrees Celsius. This ultra-cold environment is crucial for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Each layer of the sunshield is made of a specialized material called captain, coated with aluminum to reflect sunlight. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point, L2, a stable position approximately 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This location minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light, allowing JWST to maintain continuous observations from L2. The telescope can study everything from the earliest galaxies to the atmospheres of exoplanets like Proxima b. Its focus on infrared light is particularly significant, 
as it allows astronomers to study phenomena that are redshifted objects whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths as the universe expands. JWST's capabilities extend far beyond mere observation. It is designed to answer some of the most profound questions in science, including the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the conditions that might support life on other planets. With its state-of-the-art instruments, including the Near-Infrared Camera NIR Cam, the Mid-Infrared Instrument MIRI, and the Near-Infrared Spectrograph NIR Spec, JWST is not just a telescope, it is a time machine, a laboratory, and a beacon of human ingenuity. Proxima B has captivated scientists and the public alike as a potential second Earth. Situated within the habitable zone of its star, the planet has the right conditions to potentially support liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. With a mass roughly 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima B is likely a rocky planet, similar in composition to our own. Its proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal target for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima b is far from a perfect twin of Earth. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is in perpetual daylight, while the other is in eternal darkness. This creates a unique environment with extreme temperature differences between the two hemispheres. The region where day meets night, known as the Terminator Line, may offer a narrow twilight zone with conditions moderate enough to support life. The challenges posed by Proxima B's environment are significant. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf known for its intense solar flares, which can emit bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time, exposing its surface to the harshness of space. If Proxima B retains any atmosphere, it likely requires a strong magnetic field to shield it from radiation. Without such protection, the surface environment would be hostile to life as we know it. Despite these challenges, scientists are optimistic about the potential for life on Proxima b. The planet's position within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water could exist either on its surface or in subsurface reservoirs. Life might adapt to the harsh conditions much like extremophiles on Earth, Organisms that thrive in extreme environments such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents or high-radiation zones. These adaptations could include radiation resistance, subsurface habitats, or unique biochemical processes. The search for life on Proxima b is more than just a scientific endeavor. It is a quest to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Proxima b represents a tantalizing possibility, a rocky, Earth-like world that might harbor the conditions necessary for life. As our technology advances, so too does our ability to explore this intriguing planet and uncover its secrets. While Proxima b presents tantalizing possibilities, its environment is profoundly influenced by the nature of its host star, Proxima Centauri. Unlike our Sun, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star smaller, cooler, and significantly less luminous. Its reduced size and temperature mean that its habitable zone is much closer, pulling Proxima b into an orbit just 0.05 astronomical units from the star, about 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. This proximity creates a unique set of challenges for the planet and any potential life it might host. One major issue is Proxima Centauri's stellar activity, particularly its intense and frequent solar flares. These flares are sudden, powerful eruptions of energy that release high doses of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Such events are far more common and energetic in red dwarfs than in stars like our Sun. For Proxima b, this means a constant bombardment of high-energy particles, which could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time. Without a protective magnetic field like Earth's magnetosphere, any atmosphere on Proxima b would be vulnerable to erosion, leaving its surface exposed to the harsh radiation. Even if Proxima b retains some of its atmosphere, the radiation from Proxima Centauri poses serious challenges to life. High levels of ultraviolet radiation can break molecular bonds, preventing the formation of complex organic compounds. This would severely limit the potential for life to develop or sustain itself on the planet's surface. On Earth, organisms like Deinococcus radiodurans have evolved mechanisms to repair DNA damage caused by radiation, 
suggesting that life on Proxima b might similarly adapt. However, the level of radiation resistance required would be extreme, possibly necessitating entirely new biochemistries. Interestingly, Proxima b's tidally locked nature may offer some protection. While one hemisphere faces constant radiation from Proxima Centauri, the planet's dark side could serve as a refuge. Subsurface habitats or deep caves could shield potential life forms from the worst of the radiation. Similarly, if Proxima b has subsurface oceans, they could provide a stable, radiation-free environment where microbial life might thrive, much like the ecosystems around hydrothermal vents on Earth. Despite these challenges, scientists remain hopeful that Proxima b's extreme environment provides a unique opportunity to study the adaptability of life. By observing how organisms might survive or even thrive under such conditions, researchers can expand their understanding of what makes a planet habitable. Proxima b is not just a potential home for life. It is a natural laboratory for testing the limits of life itself. The planet's proximity to Earth and its position within the habitable zone of its star make it an ideal candidate for further study. With new telescopes and instruments, scientists will continue to monitor Proxima b for signs of life, hoping that the answers to some of humanity's deepest questions lie on this distant world. As we explore the universe, Proxima b offers a fascinating glimpse into the potential for life beyond our solar system. As our understanding of Proxima b and its potential for life evolves, so too does the technology that allows us to explore it. The advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and other advanced instruments will play a crucial role in this ongoing exploration. By focusing on infrared wavelengths, JWST can provide detailed observations of Proxima b's atmosphere and surface conditions allowing scientists to study its chemical composition and weather patterns. This will help in determining whether the planet has an atmosphere that could support life, or if the extreme stellar activity from Proxima Centauri has rendered it inhospitable. The study of Proxima b's atmosphere is of particular interest. If the planet has a thick atmosphere, it might shield its surface from harmful radiation and help maintain a stable climate. JWST could detect key gases such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, or methane, which could indicate biological processes similar to those found on Earth. The challenge here is distinguishing between signs of life and simple geological processes. While the presence of certain gases could suggest biological activity, other non-biological processes, like volcanic activity or chemical reactions, might produce similar signatures. In addition to JWST, future missions, such as the Louvoir, Large Ultraviolet, Optical Infrared Surveyor, or the HABEX, Habitable Exoplanet Imaging Mission, could contribute to the study of Proxima b by directly imaging the planet and measuring its atmospheric composition. These missions are being designed to detect planets around nearby stars, particularly those in the habitable zone, and may one day allow us to directly observe the surface or weather patterns on Proxima b. Another intriguing possibility is the detection of biosignatures chemical markers that indicate life. While such detection is still a long way off, the prospect of finding microbial life on Proxima b would revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place in it. The search for biosignatures, whether through atmospheric composition or surface features, has become a key goal for the next generation of telescopes. By looking for unusual ratios of gases or by studying the planet's reflection spectrum, astronomers could eventually determine whether Proxima b or any other exoplanet, hosts life. The search for alien life on Proxima b is not limited to telescopic observations alone. As technology advances, more innovative techniques for exploring exoplanets will emerge. Concepts such as space probes that could travel to nearby star systems have been proposed, though they are far from being realized. Proxima b, with its relative proximity to Earth, is a potential candidate for one of the first interstellar missions possibly utilizing light sails or ion drives to reach it within a human lifetime. While such missions are decades or even centuries away, they represent a long-term goal for humanity's exploration of the stars. In the nearer term, there are other exciting avenues of research. For example, radio telescopes might one day detect signals from advanced civilizations on Proxima b, a concept that aligns with the ongoing SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, efforts. 
Though the likelihood of detecting such signals remains low, the potential for discovering intelligent life within our galactic neighborhood is an enduring part of the human quest to understand the cosmos. Meanwhile, Earth's exploration of Proxima b will continue to rely heavily on advanced observational techniques and the growing field of artificial intelligence, AI. AI can help analyze vast amounts of data collected by telescopes and other instruments, identifying patterns and potential signs of life more quickly and accurately than human scientists could alone. This partnership between human ingenuity and AI could expedite the discovery of new exoplanets and speed up our understanding of alien worlds like Proxima b. Despite the many challenges in exploring Proxima b, its harsh environment, intense radiation, and tidally locked nature, the pursuit of knowledge about this distant planet remains one of the most exciting frontiers of modern science. Proxima b represents more than just a candidate for life. It stands as a symbol of humanity's desire to explore the unknown, to reach out to the stars, and to answer profound questions about the existence of life beyond Earth. As our tools and technology advance, and as our understanding of exoplanetary systems deepens, the mystery of Proxima B may one day be solved. Whether it holds life, or if it is a barren world, its study will undoubtedly deepen our understanding of the universe and the conditions under which life can emerge. Proxima B may one day hold the key to answering the most fundamental question of all. Are we alone in the universe?